The Text Items group lets you quickly create form objects having to do with text, such as text field, text box, and a password field. Choose Text Field and Web Studio will create a text field object and opens its Properties dialog box. In this dialog box, you can do a lot to customize the look and feel of the object. In the Label Properties, you can type the label of the field. You can position it at the left or right of the field. Or choose no label if you like. Choose the background color and the text color. If you switch to the text input properties, you can choose a name for the field. This name is what Web Studio will use in the email as a description of the field. Much of the time, you can use the same thing you used for the label. Next, you can enter the initial value to be displayed when the page is first loaded. You can also specify the maximum number of characters to allow in the field. Next, you can decide on your validation type. If you'd like to make sure the user enters the correct type of data. You can toggle whether it is a required field and create a custom error message. Below that is where you specify the text and background colors for the inside of the field. Click OK to accept the settings and you can position your form object on the page. To make a text box with more than one line, choose text box. Most of the settings are the same as for a text field, except here you can specify the number of lines for the field. To make a password field, choose password and it will create a field that looks just like a normal text field, except when a user types into it, the characters are changed to bullets.